Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So your graphics card, also known as a GPU or video card, as many will know, is the hardware that's found uh, in your device that's responsible for rendering images, videos, animations that are displayed on your computer screen. Now, for whatever reason, if you want to find out um, your graphics card make model and other basic information, um, just a quick video to show you five ways you can check uh, your graphic card details on Windows 11 and you can also um, follow these steps to some extent or the other if you are still running Windows 10 to check that um, GPU info. Now this is by no means a comprehensive list but just five simple ways if you just want a quick overview of uh, your graphics card details on both operating systems. Now um, the first out of five steps um, and this will give you at first basic video card information like make and model. Uh, is to first of all head to your settings and when that opens up that will open up on the system page by default and then on the system page click on display at the top and then on the display page um, just scroll down to where you get advanced display click on that and yeah you'll see on your display information advanced display page yeah under display information in my case we get internal display display one connected to Intel or RS or XE graphics. So that's just giving you um, basic video card make and model. And that's your first point of call out of the five steps we are looking at today. Now the next um, step um, and number two on our list to check uh, your graphics card basic information would be to head over to your device manager, which is a legacy component of Windows 10 and Windows 11. Now the simplest way to get to device manager would be just to right click on your start manager head up to device manager click on that and this opens up uh, device manager which is part of the control panel and yeah you'll see display adapters just open up and expand that and yeah we get that basic information again uh, basic card information like Intel or RSR XE graphics and if you want a little bit more info you can double click on that and yeah, at the top, if you click on these tabs, you will get some more info. So if you click on driver, that gives you the, the driver date, the driver version, and your a digital signature. So it's digitally signed, Microsoft Windows hardware compatible publisher, as an example. And you can click on the other tabs to get more information. So that's a number two. And then the third way uh, you can check is to find the graphics card basic details through Task Manager. And to do this, we just right click on our uh, taskbar, click on task manager. And if we just expand this so we can see it better in the video, yeah, we would head to our performance page and click on GPU. And yeah, in the GPU uh, page, once again, yeah, at the bottom, we can see Intel RS XE graphics in my case. And yeah, at the bottom, you can actually see your total uh, GPU memory. So it's 3.9 gigabytes. And yeah, to the bottom left, we can actually see um, how much GPU memory I'm using out of the 3.9 gigabytes available and I'm using 0.4 which is 400 megs out of the 3.9 gigabytes available and yeah to the right once again uh, we can see our driver version our driver date our DirectX version and actually our physical location where it's installed in my case PCR bus 0 device 2 function 0 so that just gives you a little bit more basic um, information and details using the task manager and then the next way uh, to find out um, is using the DirectX diagnostic tool. So this will give you graphics information using the DirectX diagnostic tool. And um, the DirectX uh, tool is buried deep in the, uh, the system files. So it's part of your system 32, which are um, responsible. And those are the system files that actually run your operating system. But although the DirectX diagnostic tool is buried quite deep, we can just do a search for that. And the best would be is just to type in DXD. And yeah, at the top, you'll see dxdiag.exe. Just click on that. And that'll open the DirectX diagnostic tool. And if you have checked for WHQL digital signatures, that'll take a second or two just to check for those uh, digital signatures and once that's done we can just head up to display and yeah you'll get your information again graphics information through DirectX tool and yeah we can see Intel RS XE graphics and yeah we can get our total memory 4102 megabytes display memory and shared memory so it just gives you a little bit more info and yeah you can see all the information once again about your drivers and so on so that's using the DirectX diagnostic tool 
uh, to get some more information. And then the, the fifth and final way to check your information would be just to use the good old system information to get um, information regarding your graphics details. And to do this, once again, we head back to the search and you just do a search for system information, click on that. And here in the left-hand menu, head to components and expand that. Then click on display. And here you'll see at the top, adapter type, adapter description. And there we go. Once again, we get our adapter type and our adapter description. And those are just five easy steps, as, as I mentioned at the beginning of this video. Not a comprehensive list, but just basic ways that you can check your graphics card details um, on Windows 11 and also to some extent on Windows 10. And um, that's obviously would be a benefit if you are, as an example, replacing your graphics card or would just like some more info out of pure curiosity or interest. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.